So does everybody know what we're doing? Do we know what we're doing? No, we don't know what we're doing. But, just for the record, on this video, we're going to be knocking out brisket on the Master Belt 1050. So in here, we got a third of the cup, a third of cup, a third of a cup, Smokehouse Reserve Blend. This segment brought to you by Mobello. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't none of that in there, bro. <laughs> What's it, Reserve Blend? Reserve Blend and Moisture Magic. Oh. Reser so in this cup, we got a third of a So in this mixer, we got a third of a cup, Reserve Blend to a tablespoon of Moisture Magic. Make sure to mix the powders before you add the water. And if you got this little cool little fancy gadget. Oh. Reverse osmosis, baby. Whoa. That is pretty cool. We're gonna blow this rig up. 20 ounces. Shake well. Pump it up. No way, man. You gotta know how to do it. No pro from back in the day. I'm gonna mix that myself. My little trusty 20 ounce. It's like that, bro. Just like that. All day, every day. So we're gonna cook this brisket overnight in the master bell. We're gonna put it on at 9.30. <laughs> we're gonna put it on at 9.30. We're gonna get up and check it in the middle of the night and fill the chute because uh, word on the street is this guy ran one out before. You don't wanna do that. So probably about three o'clock, we'll wake up, just go out, top off the chute and continue on. Get up about 6 a.m., wrap it in butcher paper till she hits about 200, since it's so low and slow, the, the, the finish temp is gonna come way down. So I'm looking at 200, man. I'll, I'll pull it at 200, I ain't afraid. I'm not afraid. But I'm, I am gonna go off a of feel though, so at 200-ish, we'll pull it, let it rest out on the countertop for a little bit, and then I have a huge, huge secret that I'm gonna share with you on how to get tender brisket from edge to edge Every single time, as you watch this video, there's gonna be a, a couple little things that I do that you're gonna go, okay, now I understand. But you got, you may have to go, you know, go back and watch it again. Because a, a lot of this stuff, man, sometimes I maybe not, I don't verbalize, I just do out of, uh, you know, this is the way I've done it. But I promise you, in the end, you're gonna wanna see how I get this thing perfect texture from edge to edge just like they do at Franklin. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it at home and not go stand in line at 2.30 in the morning on a corner in Austin when you can do it at home. And just so you know, this right here, my friends, is a $56, $58 Walmart brisket. I picked that sucker up. <coughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at that wobble. Hey, secrets in here, man. No shigan. No shigan? Yeah. Is that what you and your boyfriends do out here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna do a nice, easy trim on this. Nothing crazy. Just make it a little bit aerodynamic. This is a, this is a big old brisket, too. 17 pounds. Oh man, come on. Look oh, at that. They got us on this one, that's okay. Come on, bro. Time to get to whittling. Like I said, we're not gonna get crazy. Ugh. I don't like that piece right there. I never have. Save it. Touch stuff. 
Make sure you save this though. <laughs> no, this, <laughs> this actually doesn't look that bad. Like they, I mean the fats, there's just a little spot right here. Other than that. I always just like to keep it about a quarter inch of fat. Quarter to half inch, you know. But this doesn't look that bad. All right, so like I said, we're injecting this with Reserve Blend, Moisture Magic, and this is pretty much with a, a couple of minor tweaks. Uh, the same injection that we use in competition and has won tens of thousands of dollars. And what you're gonna wanna do is I'm just blowing this thing up. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, but normally you wanna inject every half inch and I'm only pushing about five cc's in there at a time. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this thing rest. We're gonna rub it, let it rest for a little bit and then get it on the cooker. And like I said, we're gonna put this thing on at 9.30, run up till 6 a.m., wrap it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is gonna be phenomenal. Barring I don't screw this up. I, I don't think Now that we got her injected, I like to get all the injection out of here. So I'll take a paper towel and just stick it in the corner. Let it soak up. So we're gonna get it rubbed down. I'm not gonna rub the bottom of it this time, because last time my brisket was just a tad salty. So I'm just gonna rub the tops and the sides. But I like pepper, so. And just, if you start crybabying in the comments about, oh, it's too much, man. It's a big cut of, it's 17 pounds, man. Use your head. This is what it takes, man. And if you don't like that much pepper, then you don't use that much pepper. I like pepper. Where's that right here? That's what the men use. That'd be a nice little add on at the end of the night, or in the middle of the night, I should say. I uh, I get a piece of foil, fold it over four or five times, just to kind of seal it just a little bit more. That's just me. I've been doing it for years like that with my gravity fed, so. Yeah, this thing's ready to go. That brisket's gonna rest for about six hours. It's about 345 right now. So right at about six hours, five hours and 45 minutes. Um, and it's fine right there. It's fine right there on the counter. It's 72 degrees in the house. If you don't feel comfortable with it being on the counter, put it in the fridge. You can wrap it up. I'm actually gonna probably get some uh, foil and wrap it up and just let it sit right there. So when I put that thing on, she's ready to roll. And this is what we do in competition all the time. So, so it's almost nine o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and light this. Uh, made myself a little drink. This is uh, Evan Williams single barrel something blah blah. We dipped the bottle in wax too. So, so we're gonna get this sucker going. I got her full. Uh, charcoal's filled up, like I said. Everything's cleaned. All we gotta do is run her. It's about, it's about 8.40, 8.45 right now. So I'll let it run. Uh, brisket's going on at 9.30. I'll bring you back for that. And then uh, we're just gonna say peace out. See you in the morning. Other than when we get up in the middle of the night to fill the charcoal. I don't know if you wanna see that, but that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just going to get up, fill it, go straight back to bed. So I may not turn the camera on just because it's going to be dark and it's literally going to take about two seconds. So yeah. All right. Let's get her lit. All 
All right, so this is the setup we're gonna be running. We're gonna run this one on the upper shelf this time because it's such a huge freaking brisket and I just wanna get some distance between the manifold where the heat comes out and the brisket. So, well, she looks good though, don't she? Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. But one more thing before we get started. Time to add the wood chunks. And this is how many I'm at, just a, just a handful. This is hickory. Just throw them in there. Oh, lost one. There we go. Simple as that. Boy, isn't that pretty? Woo. Well, good morning. It's uh, 5.38. I've managed to wake up at, in the middle of the night and right now without an alarm. I think Technically, that means I'm getting old. But uh, it, it did look really good in the middle of the night. So let's go see. I'm gonna get a, let me get my light. Honk it down to 25, baby. Oh, yes. This looks beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So I'm gonna go get this thing wrapped. Uh, obviously, can't hold the camera. I'll put it, I'll set it up in here on the table. I'll show you how I wrap it with the Cosmos butcher paper. Let's do it. So I got two sheets of butcher paper laid out. They're about, I don't know, three and a half feet long. I'm gonna set it right in the middle, flip it, fold the edges, flip it again, seal it, and go about back on the cooker. But let's go grab this brisket and make it happen. Boom, just like that, back on the cook. 260. So the way. It's about, I think it's about 8.30, 8.45, 9 o'clock. And this sucker is not wanting to give up. She's at 193 right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna probe her. <laughs> I said probe her. She's looking good though. Looking good. Let's see. Yeah. I think she's done, dude. She's done. See that guy's now that's in the thickest, thickest part. And we're showing 191, which says 193 right there. But yeah, I think she's done. I'm gonna give her she's done. She's done. Now she's just a little tight though. A little tight. So I'm gonna give her probably 20 minutes, pull her off, boom, then I'll show you my secret. You're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, so we got her pulled off. It is now 9.07, so 11 and a half hours this baby has been on. Now we're gonna leave it here on the counter for 30 minutes and just let the heat dissipate. And then we're gonna come over here Wrap it in saran wrap. Now what that's gonna do is all the little tough, hard edges, they all dry out. They just they just do, it's just the way it is. This is gonna allow them to re-steam and re-moisturize. That way you can slice from one end all the way to the other. Right. So now you can let this thing sit for actually quite a while, believe it or not. Um, I it's, it's, like I said, 940 right now. I'm gonna let it set till about noon. What I'll probably do is fire up the oven and run it up to about 200 degrees, then kill it. 
and then just put this in there. Now, as long as you don't go over that, the cellophane is fine. If you go, if you go over 250, you're screwed. It will melt this, but it will keep it warm. I'm just gonna turn the oven into a warming cabinet just to hold it. It's gonna re-moisturize all them tips, all the edges that get a little crusty. The ones for the beans. So next up, we'll be cutting into this sucker. But I think I'm gonna run to the store, go get cleaned up, run to the store, see how things are going. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back and do this. It's right at noon. We're gonna pull this thing out, get it sliced. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I've been waiting for this one too freaking long. But that's okay. Cause this is it. I'm gonna, let me come around here. You can just feel how tender it is. Oh, oh man. That is phenomenal. That's how you cook brisket right there, boys and girls. So hey, I wanna thank you for watching. If you like what we're doing here, man, I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget about our giveaway. Click the first link down in the description. Go over there, get signed up. We give away thousands of dollars worth of prizes every single month, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.